Hello, welcome to Conversations about the Person of the Holy Spirit. There's something that we will be learning today, and I'm so excited. Pastor Joy will be with us today. It's a special session. Conversations about the Person of the Holy Spirit, but we're running special sessions in this season because there is so much that we have to learn about this person hallelujah welcome on board welcome on board there is something amazing that god you know has laid on our hearts today and we will be tremendously blessed thank you for connecting thank you for connecting and then when pastor joy comes up you know i've received several testimonies i should say concerning the broadcast we had um, it was on tuesday with pastor boy and we had an amazing time you know people um asked me questions did you um record this session and thankfully we recorded it and now it's on um it's on so pastor joy please request um that i had you and then you can come on board and then we'll just talk about this sweet person Pastor Joy, please send a request to me and then we can talk. Oh, thank you, Father. The Holy Spirit is right here to, to, to lead us and guide us into all fields. And such a beautiful time we will have discussing him today. Pastor Joy, please send me a request and um, we can start. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory, hallelujah, okay. Connecting everyone. Thank you for connecting. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hi, <laughs> Pastor John. Hi, remember, <laughs> good evening. It's so good to be here. <laughs> Yeah, same here. Same wow. here. We had a beautiful time with Pastor Boye on Tuesday and we're so looking forward to today because it will get better, better and better. And there's always something in the heart of the Father for us. Yeah. So, so always something <laughs> in the heart of the Father. Definitely. Because, you know, um, um, some, um, someone and I got talking, it was, I think, um, last week or so so the person was asking me what is god saying this season i'm like well <laughs> god is saying so many things different things to hmm. different people hmm. um because we're all in different seasons so True. depending on the season you're in god is giving specific words but god is then giving a general word hmm. and, and one of the, the general word that you will find is in the scripture the scripture is always, you know, what you can fall back on. A martial word of prophecy. Yes, a yeah. martial word of prophecy, what you can fall. And I, and I like never before, one of the things that's been strong on my heart is that heaven is not on lockdown. That's what I posted mm. before, you know. That's so right. Every plan, that, every plan that God has is still intact. Yeah. So I was saying Definitely. to this person, I was saying to Pastor Bimbo, so I was saying to him, I said, do you know, like never before, even in church, unusually, it's unusual. God gave us five mm. words in one year. Yeah. Great vision, <laughs> God, spirit. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't know that. Year. I wasn't there. I was thinking that one year. Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure yeah. if that has happened yeah. before. Five words in not one year. Not to my year. knowledge. God, not to my knowledge. God knew this was going to happen. True. Very and true. So to call God is not calling AGM like mm. hey it's trouble mm. we need to do something we need to do something that's right no. true so like, true people in this season we want to you know put our hands at the heart of the father you know in court mm. in prayer to find out what is God saying to us um in the world Preach, what is God saying Preach. to the body of the of Christ yes, what ma'am. is God saying to my family what is God mm. saying to me I can just flow yes. down that ladder yes. what is God saying yes. and the Holy yes, Spirit definitely. is the best person that you can partner with in this season how come you know even in the Old Testament Pastor John I'm mm. going to give you the floor even in the Old Testament mm. you know God Isaac Please wanted to check out you are doing a great job Isaac <laughs> wanted to check out yes. with, hey be mm. calm stay here mm. Mm. so in the mm. land and and mm. now she was just clearly in that same year, and Isaac mm. did not have the Holy Ghost. Oh, mm. yes, sir. He stayed. 
follows the leading of the spirit yes you mm. know on the other side things look like hey hey what's happening i was telling my husband mm. today that you know, God is going mm. then it's just done you know me you know as you watch the news say over and over again you're saying lord lord yes mm. we need to spend time mm. in prayer so more but god mm. is not god is not getting he's not about he's not yeah no. yes no. Yeah. heaven yeah. is still on calendar heaven is mm. still on schedule Glory there is no there is nothing to be tweaked anywhere everyone is still in shadow so like never yeah. before we need to yeah. listen what's God saying yeah. to the world what's God saying yeah. to Africa what what's God saying to Nigeria you know just down mm. the line what's God saying mm. to the body of Christ what's God saying mm. to my family what is God mm. saying to me as an individual right. and like never That's before right. we're not just doing uploads which is I'm just talking mm. to God like Mm. I've dropped mm. my file. Handle it. <laughs> God, what do you have to say? Hallelujah. What do you have to say? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As in, it, it feels like you should just go on talking because you're really <laughs> hitting it on the head. <laughs> Praise God. Like this is this is rich. This is awesome. You know and pretty much spending time together you know talking god's word fellowshipping with the holy spirit is one of the things that we must prioritize in this time in yeah. just the last 3 minutes or so that you've spoken my spirit is literally doing cartwheels mm-hmm. like jumping for joy mm-hmm. hallelujah you know mm-hmm. and and that's awesome that's awesome uh, um 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 this is this is such a great opportunity this is a great platform i watched the um broadcast the last um, insta live with pastor boy and it was such a blessing yeah. it was such a blessing the Praise anointing god. of god was so strong yeah. i mean god yeah. really yeah. met with oh, us we <laughs> from, uh, discussion to there's someone here there's someone here <laughs> I like the one now. That's right. That's right. That's the thing with the Holy Ghost. Once you start talking about him, he shows up. Once you start yes. talking about him, he shows up. He's just faithful like that, you yes. know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and and let me just sort of piggyback off what your you know what you started with and that's the fact that god is not jittery he's not perturbed he's not you know wondering what next to do right <laughs> so i i i i remember i did share something with you sometime today i was checking my journal yeah. okay I, i've been praying and I've been, i was um, god brought my mind to something that he told me last year you know and i was checking actually i was checking for something completely different but when it fetched my journal from last year and then i saw there something that was it was so clear that god was preparing us for this time you know and i'm yes. like oh my goodness he had seen Just, it long I, I, ago i checked it i checked it like 2 minutes before i came on and then <laughs> i just kept saying wow my brother was like what's up I was just like wow, wow. i know later <laughs> i was just saying wow oh, this and I've i checked the date the date hmm. was it was in july god had spoken yeah. to you about it and i think covid yeah. like started like december or something december so there about yeah who knew what was coming yeah yeah, yeah. interestingly mm-hmm. at the time i didn't even know i mean who would have guessed it would be something like this you know but yeah. god is wise he is the fountain of wisdom and knowledge and Hallelujah. one of the things that you know he's been impressing in my heart is you know particularly if as a believer at this time you're feeling like why is this happening in my time why 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 can't my life just be normal you know why can't everything just go <laughs> why does it have to be now that we're having covid-19 lockdown all these things that i don't understand you know and god is literally saying don't be afraid don't be afraid yes. this is scripture times all over again i literally mm-hmm. uh, hand picked you to put you in this time and in this season Hallelujah. so that for eternity Hallelujah. you know you'll be walking the streets mm-hmm. of heaven and walking on the earth when mm-hmm. we come back to the earth and people will be stopping you to say mm-hmm. please i want to find out how did, how was that thing again you know tell me about it mm-hmm. the same way that you'll be stopping the israelites that walk through the red sea and say tell me how did it look like You know how was it when the waters were congealed on both sides people will be stopping you to Hallelujah. ask you how was it how did you guys get through this Hallelujah. praise god Hallelujah. you know so it's Hallelujah. not it's not it's not you know it's not um, um if something that that god was not anticipating or didn't have planned out he knew that it was going to happen and he brought you here on the earth at this time he brought us here for such a time as this sincerely i'm really Hallelujah. excited 
you know i'm just so excited like god what is it that you have planned what are you doing tell us tell us more tell us more so that we can fit in and find our place you know and, and that really is the position that we need to be taking to be saying lord there's something you're doing and i'm excited about it i'm I, i'm excited to be in the center of your plan i want to be in the very center of what you're doing i want to be in the very middle of what you're doing you know and then helping um um letting him <clears throat> excuse me help us take our position you know right there right and then um um something else that i thought it was important to sort of share um i'll call it i i've, I've called it the look look 822 model okay and that was when jesus was in the boat you know and um they were in the sea and there was a storm now preceding that the bible says jesus said let us go to the other side so they got into the middle of the water yeah and then there was this huge storm there was this huge yes. storm and there was wind blowing and the bible says that water blew into the ship you know and then it was the the, the disciples were all i mean jittery they were scared they were they started to wake mm. jesus up because jesus was asleep in the back part of the ship on the on the pillow and they started waking him up like master are you not worried about this thing like we're going to die and you you are sleeping and so i feel like that's almost how a lot of us or a lot of believers mm. are feeling right now like god what's going on what's going on are you sleeping how can you be sleeping and things are happening like this? First of all, it was one person. Then now it is um, um, 200 and something people. The last time again, they say it's 400 and something. God, what's going on? God, what's going on? You know, mm -hmm. and Jesus looked at them and he said, uh -uh, have you forgotten? I said, let's go to the other side. We are going to the Hallelujah. other side. You know, so Hallelujah. if at the beginning of the year, what he said to us is that it is our year of laughter. It is our year of the yeah. Holy Ghost you know exploits and it's a year of laughter I, I, I think there's one that i haven't said you know he's still a year of great vision he still means exactly mm. what he said hallelujah mm. he never said yeah. it is going to be a year of death no he never said it's going to be mm. a year of sickness he didn't say it's going to be a year of mm. economic recession no 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 he knew exactly what he said mm. and he meant what he said so we must remember what mm. he said like jesus remember that we are going to the other mm. side we are getting to the end of 2020 mm. and the year and the end of this decade mm. and beyond and what did he do he rested he slept Hallelujah. okay so rest 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 and from Hallelujah. that place of rest exert dominion from that place of rest exert and 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 execute the victory praise god so one of the Hallelujah. things that we really must be doing at this time is praying for our nation praying for our nation praying for those around us praying for our continent praying for the world calling nations by name and presenting them before god because we have access to the throne room hallelujah, hallelujah. all right so so so, so rest Rest, just rest, rest before Him. Amen, amen. Yes. You know. Yes. So yes. and then and then going going forward from that, you know, um, one of the things that I also believe that is very critical at this time. So we've mentioned first of all that you know God knew what He was doing from the very beginning mm. of this year. He wasn't confused about you in this year. He wasn't confused about mm. what his plans for us are and his plans mm. still remain intact. We must keep that at the mm. forefront of our minds. You know, keep reciting it to yourself, keep saying it to yourself because God is not a man that he should like. What he said mm. is true and it is still true now. Praise God, Hallelujah. you know, and then Hallelujah. in the middle of all of the turmoil and all of the confusion and all of that, you know, we rest. We rejoice, we rest, we declare what he has said. Amen. We keep our eyes on him. Amen. You know, and, and, and so the same God, the same God who through the Holy Spirit started to prepare us for this time, wants to prepare us for what is coming. You know, and, and for me, that's like um, really, really major. Anyone who's close to me, who knows me, knows that I've been talking a lot about that, you know, about the fact that we have the help of the Holy Spirit and we are not mm -hmm. clueless as to what is happening. We're not orphans. Mm -hmm. We're not in the dark. Mm -hmm. Bible says we are children of the light. Mm -hmm. We are children yes. of the light. Mm -hmm. You know, so if right now you're feeling like, uh, you know, I'm all confused, everything is upside down. No, 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 no. Get the memo. Mm? Mm. God is still on the throne. Nothing has changed. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Get the menu. Attend the briefing. Mm-hmm. Eh? Soldier in the army of God. You've just been called mm-hmm. to arms. Hallelujah. Don't be afraid. Your captain is in charge. Mm-hmm. Amen. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. So, so the very next thing is, what is he saying? What is he mm-hmm. saying? You know, and, 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 and he started to say to me, you know, that we should, we should follow after the model of Abraham. So in Genesis mm-hmm. chapter 18, God said to Abraham, he had just visited him and said to him that, you know, according to the, um, the manner of life, your, your wife Sarah is going to bear a son. You know, and then the yes, Bible says yes. that the three men turned to face Sodom and Gomorrah. You know, and then mm. God said, will I hide this thing that I'm about to do from Abraham? <laughs> All right. And I call it the Genesis. <laughs> I call it the Genesis mm. 18 principle. Okay. And mm. that is that God does not want to hide anything from his covenant people. God mm. does not want to hide anything from his covenant mm. people. God does not mm. want to keep us in the dark. God does not. If a man under the old covenant who before Jesus showed up had that kind of relationship with God, mm. how much more you and I, how much more you and I that Jesus said about us, I am not going to leave you alone said i'm going to send i'm going to pray the father and he will send you another comforter Mm -hmm. and he will be with you and he will be in you right Mm -hmm. so we're not alone in fact he said three things about him he said he will teach you all things he will remind you of everything that i said and then he will guide you into all things okay so look at the terms that i use there all things all things all things i mean this is sounding like you have access to what God knows, and He doesn't want to hide mm-hmm. anything from us. He doesn't. Mm-hmm. Gen- mm-hmm. If, see, if you want to write it down somewhere, if you, so that when the devil comes and starts to play those tricks on your mind, you tell him, if God did it in Genesis 18, He's the same yesterday, yeah, today, and forever. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> If he did not hide anything from Abraham, he certainly ain't going to hide anything from me. Glory be to God. You know, because he said in yeah. Sometimes it starts from conversations. Hmm. Um, like, what, what are you saying in this season? Because we can't yeah. afford to get to the place where we just drop our files for your information. Like, hmm. I just don't know what I'm doing. And then we walk out. Hmm. We want to get to that place where if things are happening around you, okay, yes, well, mm. we know that we're facing COVID-19 right now, but, but bring it, mm. bring it home. Something is happening, you know, in your place of work. Something is happening mm. to one of your children. You're prayed about it. You want to ask, you want to, you know, just check in your heart. Well, is this something? Is this something that I need to know? Don't just take, life is spiritual. Don't just take yeah. things on the surface. Like, hey. Yeah. Mm. And you know that as we talk to God and as we go in our mm. fellowship with the Holy Spirit, the solution God gives you for a, um, a circumstance or a, or a situation two months ago, yeah. if you're faced with that situation today, don't just mm. assume and use that same solution. Because this, this time, God might be saying, okay, it's time to dance. The other time, you might, might have let Mm. You know, so you can't go about oh mm. every situation I'm going to give. Oh yeah, mm. where's the next seat? No, so, mm. that's so it becomes saying, a formula. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. People, they, 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 you know, they, we can't box the spirit of God. You know, I, I you know I picked up on the fact that God is saying mm. something, but we need to start mm. conversations with Him. God, what are you saying? Yeah. What yeah. are you saying about? Yeah. What yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. And when He opens up things to us, God is ever willing to talk. I mean, it's it's like when mm. you just wake up in the morning and you say good morning, Holy Spirit. He looks like mm. you, you just start to download, like He was waiting mm. for you to. <laughs> 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 There is so much that the father is saying. And if if mm. um if someone like you said, you know, Genesis 18, if someone like Abraham had that kind of relationship with God, how much more? How we, much we more? Have yeah. 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 With the death, burial, yeah. and resurrection of Jesus, the veil wide open. We can go in. In fact, we mm. live in God's presence. And you know, mm. when we pray, what do we call our response? Like, God, I finished my things, you're done. No. <laughs> it's not an interview. Like, oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> say anything. As we pray, in the, as we pray, you know, we pray out the answer. We pray out the answer. Hallelujah. There is so much that... So the Spirit of God, God doesn't want us to limit 
the Holy Spirit to just Romans 8 26 someone that just helps us to upload prayer and then when we're done uploading we're going no this same Holy Spirit brings to us the mind of the Father communicates to us the mind of the Father we're going to wait on Pastor Joy I'm sure she'll be back Okay, I think network, and then I know that she'll be back. So, so I was saying that God doesn't want us to stay at Romans 8.26, where, because that's almost where all many believers are staying. The Holy Spirit, for I know not what to pray, but the Spirit of God prays through me with groanings that cannot be altered. Yes, God wants, the Holy Spirit is there to help you to pray. So as you upload your prayer, don't just upload the prayer and leave. God has something to say. God has something to show you. God has something to do. Do you know that Abraham had conversations with God? Remember Sodom and um, Gomorrah? Abraham had the air country. That's what I would call it. To say, God, okay, if we have 50, would you deal? If you have, to, if we have twenty, would we? Did. Now I'm not saying that you know we go back anyway, God. I'm saying that if we have that kind of access, how much more we in the new covenant? We have access to the person of the Holy Spirit. It is not some mist. It is not air. It is not that group response that we feel when we go under the power. Those are simply manifestations. This is a real person that we can talk to about anything, that we can receive from him the mind of the Father concerning every area of our lives. And he's not hiding things from us, but he's hiding things for us. For us, for our good, for our good. It says that the plant, the plants that he has for us, they are plants of good and not of evil to give us a hope and a future. So if he has a beautiful future planned out for us, he wants to reveal it to us. He wants to show us the mind of the Father. But sometimes it starts with a conversation. What do you think about this? What's your mind about this? Hallelujah. And as we engage, you know, in such conversations with the person of the Holy Spirit, we get answers. We get much more than we can even bargain. And one of the best places, you know, one of the things that Pastor Joe was also talking about is the fact that we stay in rest in this season. Do you know that the only labor that the believer has is to stay in the place of rest? He says that we labor to enter in. And so when we stay in the place of rest, we are able to hear what There is so much noise going on in this season. I can tell you. To get on your social media, you are hearing a lot of things at the same time. But you know, the precious Holy Spirit can can so help you stay in the place of rest. With three things that you get when you stay in the place of rest. You can hear God clearly. You can take authority. Because you can't take authority while jittery. Because God will give you words in the place of prayer to address the devil concerning your finances, concerning your career, concerning... But when you're all jittery and you're spraying words in court, you're not hitting the target. So as we stay in our place of rest, we, are, we can exercise our authority over whatever situation that it is that is that that negates the you know the plan of God for our lives, when we stay in the place of rest, we have the exact words. And you know, when you're dealing with the devil, you can't afford to be spraying words. You'll be like, this person doesn't even have a clue as to what is happening. But when we pray, you know, that tongues, we wait till that place where we get the exact what's the exact missile. That's what I'll call it to read to release and when we stay in joy we can receive so much from the father when we stay in rest sorry we can receive so much from the father because we are hearing clearly we are hearing clearly we are seeing clearly we can issue out we can we can exercise our dominion better hallelujah and we can stay in victory victory uh, uh, you know our position of victory is not what is happening on the outside our position of victory is more like our position of peace which is what is happening on the inside on the inside, what I have settled in my heart concerning my family, what I've settled in my heart concerning my home, what I've settled in my heart concerning my business, what I've settled in my heart with God. It's an assurance despite what is happening on the outside. Oh, Pastor Joe is not is, is not here. We we declare that network is connected in Jesus' name. I want to you know one of the things that I shared today, Jesus said, Okay, she's up now. Okay, so I will take from while, while she comes up. Okay, Pastor Joy. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, you know, um, starting conversations with God that even hey. Abraham had, he had such access in quotes. Um, look yeah. at um, Sodom and Gomorrah. Abraham yeah. could deal with God. God. What do you think now? Let's do fifty. Hey. If you find, hey. you know, people. And so we're not saying, okay, get a new bargain with God, but that's to show that kind of, that God will say concerning a man, 
I can't hide anything. Yeah. It's like when you yeah. see your friend, sometimes you're hiding some things like, okay, Fantastic. Yeah, let me wait for this. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But I yeah. you would just and then you would stop it to be like, hey, oh, <laughs> see me. <laughs> I didn't want That's to say it. All. <laughs> That's how we take that we fellowship with God. We know, mm. we know, we know. And the Holy mm. Ghost is not mm. using the God with you. Like, mm. like, like, that he will just give you a mm. question and leave you. We know. He speaks mm. in your language. It's in the best way sure. that you can understand. Sure. In fact, it's so wrong sure. that when he talks to you and you don't get it, he goes to somewhere else. You know, he goes mm. to a billboard, a text mm. message, just to ensure that we get it. Yes, so he's not on you. Yeah. so yeah. you cross in the house you first see me to what we first come in and then <laughs> <laughs> and you know, when when i get your about him people why are you expecting the spectacular why are you mm. expecting him to talk to you if he is leaving mm. you do you okay. want him to check out people behind and then start my daughter mm. my daughter mm. <laughs> <laughs> conversation And I, I also spoke about the place of rest that when we are in rest we can hear God clearly we can hear God clearly mm. when we're in the, and when we're in the place of rest we can ex- that's true mean your best because when you're dealing with the devil you don't want to be spraying words here and there Say, okay maybe it is this one it is that one you want to be exact yeah. on that missile that you're hearing So when we stay in the place of rest we can actually exact our dominion better because you know what yeah. Jesus was Hey. and mm. when he got up he mm. just said please be still yeah. you know i read some study yeah. 6 it was last two months and it stuck mm. with me mm. some 36 33 verse 6 it says god really six. spoke god mm. really spoke and the heavens were formed as in he just mm. realized it oh god, hallelujah mm. Mm. words god really mm. spoke and and the heavens were formed And he wow. says we are God. So we can stay in the place of is not you know exacting our authority in Christ is not so much of physical power. Mm. It's where sure. you're speaking from. Sure, sure. Very true. Never before we want to put the devil in his place. But it will come yeah. as we stay in the place of we know yeah. what exact word to use. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> this is so refreshing. I'm going to go and check out Psalm 33 verse 6. <laughs> so in fact, I probably have that opening it right now. <laughs> you know, but that's that's such a great word. You know, all of God's word is powerful, honestly. Like like understanding that man, God has made man as powerful as he can ever be is amazing. Mm-hmm. is amazing and what we want to do is begin to ask the holy spirit to really open our eyes to these things you know but the first the first the very first place that i would even you know go to can you hear me yes clearly oh okay great you know the first thing that i would say is there were three things that sort of i i wrote down and i thought of you know with regards to conversations with the holy ghost and one of them is or the first one is be friendly with the holy ghost you know mm-hmm. if you think about your own life and your own relationships there are people that you're freer with than others there are people that you are yourself with and there are some that you is not like you are planning to form but you are forming <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? You know, you have to put up a certain demeanor. You have to act in a certain way. But when you're with some people, you are just yourself. You know, it, it amazes me sometimes when I go to my children's school, particularly my second daughter, and then they say, ah, maybe or uh, somewhere else. Maybe sometimes in school they know her now. But maybe somewhere else. Maybe we go to um, church or something. Uh, somewhere else, and then they say, oh, she's so quiet. I'm like she's quite quite kinny quite <laughs> it's because she's she's not really used to this place you know and sometimes i feel like for quite a number of us the holy spirit is sort of constrained to be a particular way so we know him as power we know him as you know people falling on that john as i'm saying you know and so you sort of put him into a box and he's not free to express himself 
right? And then there are a few other things as well that keep him from... There's, a, there's like an atmosphere that helps him, that makes him manifest himself. You know, the Bible says that um, um, the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Mm-hmm. Worry, worry is not a... It's, it doesn't flow well with worry. Mm-hmm. He doesn't flow well with depression. So he's always mm-hmm. urging us. So you see, there's always that tug in your heart when somebody has upset you, you know, and then you're keeping malice. He's tugging mm-hmm. at you and saying... Go and say sorry. Go and say sorry. Because that is when he is able to express himself. That is when he is able to tell us things. I don't know if it's happened to you before. You are praying. You are asking God some very serious things. Then he says, go and apologize to your husband. (laughs) Because it's it's just, you know, or you shouldn't have talked to your boss like that. Or you shouldn't have said that to your to your son, you know. That there's a better way to uh, to 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 talk to this boy. He's he's sensitive, you know. You, I don't know if you're getting what I'm saying because he wants he he full he's like he fully expresses himself in a set when when there is joy when we are at rest, like you said, when we are at rest, he's able to be himself. He's able to make himself at home in our hearts. So you see, those those are friends that we are that we're like paddy paddy with, that you can talk anything, that something comes to your mind and you're like, I can't talk to this person. You know, that's the same way that the Holy Spirit wants to be with us. He wants to be friendly with us. He wants to feel at home because our relationship with him is not a one night stand. It's not, we're not using the Holy Spirit. It's not when I just need something, I just go and ask him, then I walk away. I don't know if you, do you understand. You know, let me just go and ask the Holy Spirit to give me direction on this thing. Then once I get the direction, Bye bye. <laughs> go your way. I go my way. No, no, no. It's not a one night stand. It's a relationship. It's a long yeah. term. He said he will be in you. He will be with you. He will be in you forever. You know. Mm-hmm. So you want to become friends with him. He wants us to be friends with him. You know. So sometimes, you know, and, and I've been enjoying the series where you've been talking about saying, you know, you get up in the morning and you say, "Good morning, Holy Spirit." You understand? Mm-hmm. And which will now take me to the second thing, which the first one is be friendly with him. Let's be friendly with him. You know, have that mindset that, like you say, like you always say, he's a person. He's a person that he he's closer to you than the dress you are wearing. He is the closest being to you. He lives right inside you. If if you're if you're if you have a friend that you're really close, the best that you can be is to see each other. He sees not only your physical frame, he sees your insights, he sees your mind, he knows what you're thinking, he knows what's upsetting you, he knows what's making you happy. All right. So let's draw him close, let's get closer to him, literally. And then the second one is, you know, let's learn more about him and what he loves. Fantastic. So you you know you can start in the morning and say, Good morning, Holy Spirit. Then he says, Good morning, Joy. Then two of you start looking at each other. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> or you now say, I don't know if, it, you, if you've been in those, in those situations before. You, you're, you're meeting someone for the first time, and then you've made some conversation for like five minutes. Then it's not like, okay, what, what do I say next? <laughs> what, what do I say? <laughs> um, I, don't, it's really, I don't even, you know, Lagos has been very sunny lately. You know, start saying stuff that, you know, yeah, he really doesn't mind, you know. But if we want to have continued long term conversation with the Holy Spirit, then we must learn more about him and what he loves. Let's, let's take our cue from, from you know, um, if you've ever been in love or you wanted somebody to be your friend. This one is not even maybe like a marital relationship or, uh, you know, you, maybe you wanted someone to be your friend. You start from common ground. You start to find out. In fact, maybe you don't like um, Amala. You know, but because of the person, you try it out. You know, all sorts mm. of stuff. Do, do, do you understand what I'm saying? You know, it's, it's sort of like the same way. You want to know what does he like? What, who is he? What does he love? What's on his mind? Right? And so because of that, you're able to have a lot more to talk about. You understand? Um, now, on the other hand, because somebody's probably saying, and so why doesn't he ask me? Why doesn't he know more about me? He knows everything about you. Everything. He knows everything about you. He knows everything, even the ones that you are not yet clear on. As in, 
you know so it's great to be able to i i think it's great to be able to start from asking you know questions about your life and talking to him about very regular things but he quickly wants us to come up to where he is so that he can partner with us about you know the frontline issues of life because as a new creation what god has deposited into our spirits you know i think it was um um who was in andrew womack that said what god has put or invested in the new creation will bankrupt heaven if it could be lost what god has invested into the new creation will bankrupt heaven if it could be lost we the new creation is god's end time tool is his it's his parting of the red sea it is his you know 10 plagues it is his making the sun stand still you that has the holy spirit inside of you and has received the life of christ you are not ordinary hey, jesus is lord you are not ordinary and the devil that said that start try to sell that light to you is going to have a very hot place in the lake of fire <laughs> i'm telling you we are loaded so god wants us the holy spirit wants us to come up from you know pretty much just mundane things to where he can give us answers answers for nigeria at this time answers for africa answers for our families answers for your life answers for your life so it, it, it starts from first of all learning his voice getting to know more about him knowing how he sounds he's a spirit so you can't um you can't see him it, i'm seeing reverend bimbo so i can say okay this is reverend bimbo talking to me but how do you know if it's the holy spirit talking to you you know and god's word is the holy spirit's vocabulary that is his language you know and because he's a spirit being and he is not the only spirit. Please, you need to note this. The Holy Spirit is a spirit. And he is not the only spirit. There are other spirits. But the Holy Spirit is the only spirit that sounds like the word of God. So if you don't know the word of God, you can be deceived. So he tutors us. He tunes us. You know how you tune a radio to a radio station? You know, so you get, okay, this is 95.5, this is 96.9. So you know, okay, I'm on this station, and I'm hearing this station clearly. He tunes us with the word. So you hear him with the word. The more of his word you will become acquainted with, you know, the more of his word, the more of God's word that you become acquainted with. Jesus said, when he comes, he will not say anything of himself. He will speak yeah. of me. Yes. He will speak of me. So if you want to have sustained conversations with the Holy Spirit, where he's giving you, you know, bomb grade arsenal, where he's giving you massive stuff, where he's able to trust you with things, then you want to be able to, or you want to be someone who is reading the word, studying the word, acquainted with Jesus, acquainted with the word of God, because that is how the Holy Spirit communes with us. So it's, it's not just about hearing a voice. In fact, it's not even, there's no voice. It's really the Holy Spirit bearing witness in our spirits. And then you're speaking to him, he's speaking to you. You're speaking to him, he's speaking to you. You're speaking to him, he's speaking to you. Praise God, you know. And then the third thing will be to ask him specific questions. You know, too often we, you know, we just go and we just sing speak in tongues and by the way if you are a believer and you don't speak in tongues you're missing out big time and i'm not joking this is not a joke this is <laughs> that is like god's language the language that god himself speaks what god talks that he has put inside your spirit you know, and it's available. In fact, as we are talking right now, you know, on this um, Insta Live session, if you will receive, you, if you're in that, if you just say, Lord, I'm born again, and I want the gift of the Holy Spirit. I want the baptism of the Holy Spirit, because that is, that is, that is how he immerses us into the deep things of God. It's, it's said, it's, it's he says it this way that he baptizes us in the spirit right you're baptized you're immersed 
you are inside <laughs> hallelujah you know and then the evidence of that is speaking in other tongues everywhere in the book of acts where people got filled with the spirit they spoke in tongues they all spoke in tongues every single there are about six instances that are mentioned and all of them they spoke in tongues you know so um it's critical that you know we we receive the baptism of the holy spirit it's god you know pushing us through helping us get through the door of the supernatural you know and then we begin to ask him specific questions it's mm, I, you know i used to have a a boss who when when he calls you to tell you something and you don't come with your notepad your journal or and your pen he will tell you to go back and get it now you're, you're not serious <laughs> so are you trying to tell me that everything i'm going to say to you you are going to remember eh, you are going to remember to the point that you can actually actualize it you know i think it's great practice to get into god's word or get into um our times our fellowship with the holy spirit with a journal even if you're not with a journal at the moment write things down write things down right and ask be very um like we said you know he knows us he knows us through and through he knows things about us that we know he knows things about us that are present tense and we and he knows things about us that we don't know so for example what is your place what is my place in all of this that is going on what is um how do you, okay let me give you an instance because um I remember mentioned this you know it sort of begins to get to a point where you're almost doing it unconsciously you're asking him questions unconsciously so sometimes this this week you know i have a house full of children and i'm also working from home so it can <laughs> excuse me it can get very full it can get very <laughs> sometimes you're just like can i get a break <laughs> you know so there was this particular day that i was like up to here almost in frustration you know so I remember I was on the stairs and I stopped and I said Holy Spirit what do I do because if I continue like this I'm going to lash out at the children in anger and I'm just going to literally be a beast in the house and that is not the fruit of the spirit that is not the representation of who I am that's not working in love you know and he said calm down calm down he said tell this person know, it looks like it, it feels like it comes with it comes with um an anesthesia once it says come down it looks like everything that is all going <laughs> just comes oh, gosh. Oh. Yeah. it's like just cool down hold down it's not as it's not as it's not it's not an explosion like it's looking like to you it's not it just cool down cool down take a deep breath okay and then ask this person to help you with this ask this person yeah. to help you with this right move this thing to this time this thing that you want to do that is on your mind that is making you all pent up move it to this time do it at this other time you know and make out maybe 30 minutes to 1 hour to do what they want you to do and then you understand so he just sort of helps me arrange things you know so in the middle of your everyday affairs it's asking him specific questions it's saying holy spirit i need help with this how do i answer this the times i'm trying to compose an email i'm like lord what's the right word to use here how do i <laughs> what's the best way to put this you know help me help me you know so those conversations are not only for grand things they are also for the step by step the, the minute by minute hour by hour details of our lives because he's interested in that he really is he really is praise god and when we can and when we can trust him when we can speak to him about everything he can speak hmm. to us about it true true when we can speak true. to him about everything he can mm -hmm. speak to us about everything i always mm -hmm. say to people don't get to that point where you want to take a marriage decision 
before you start talking mm. to the Holy Ghost. You are not. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to very true. Everything. And you know he's a master planner. He can help you just like you said Pastor Joe. He... And I said the Holy Spirit doesn't say only spiritual things. Though. The Holy Spirit can yeah. give you tips in your marriage how to love your husband more, what to do what not to do, how to handle your mm-hmm. children. Pastor Joe, you have four. I have three. Yeah. The three of them mm-hmm. are not the same. Who yeah. wants to be loved? Sure. Pecking her in a prison house. The other one, when you're in the prison, <laughs> you couldn't two, tell it. So you can, and the Holy Spirit is able to manage everything such that one is not feeling left out and the other one mm. is, um, he, he wants to be involved in every, because people think of the Holy Spirit only as someone who sends us on errands, the grand things you're taking mm. into your people. Yes, it's, just, it's, the, it's the complete person that can take Ethiopia. For example, if you're an evangelist, you're called to the ministry. You want to go and preach yeah. the gospel, but you have your marriage. He wants to help you sort out that, so that when yeah. you're at the forefront, when yeah. you're in Ethiopia, when you, if you heard him well concerning your marriage, then you will definitely hear him well concerning, you know, those grand issues. Yeah. Those grand issues. Yeah. Those grand yeah. issues. So Very from true. the And we cannot afford to, you know, put the Holy Ghost on hold until devotions. Okay, I don't want to devotion. True. Let's... Yeah, very so, true. You know? <laughs> In the evening very again, true. okay. I'm... Yeah, yeah. Between morning and evening, so many things would have gone wrong. It's right yeah. in us every step yeah. of the way. Mm-hmm. And it's so cool to know things before they happen. It's absolutely mm. possible. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely yeah. possible because there's no difference in the realm of the spirit. So you're you're somewhere, but God can just talk to you about your parents, you know, in the village, about someone, one of your cousins, and can get you up to pray. He, he has, you know, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not so, it's not deep. It's not like you know. We all, funny enough, we 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 usually get the nudges. We get yes. the nudges. We get yes. the nudges. I, I think that there are prompters. That there are times that you're 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 having to maybe you're going to you're having to deal with a tough decision or something is not going quite right. That's an opportunity. That's an opportunity to say, Holy Spirit, please help me. What do I do here? Because He's the Spirit of Truth, so He knows everything. But oftentimes He won't be. He won't be. He 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 often isn't the first to talk. He wants us to ask Him because so He's ask. a gentleman. To ask. Yes. Then the, the 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 second thing is the nudges, the nudges. Sometimes you just remember someone, or you think of something. It's an opportunity to, you know, maybe God wants you to pray for them. Maybe He wants you to call them and encourage them. Maybe He wants you to send them a WhatsApp. Maybe the person is feeling not too okay, and He just wants you to send them a WhatsApp message to encourage them. You know. We, it's it, what I'm saying is, as believers, we have we have the we have the button. We we have the it, we we know how to communicate with him. It's not something difficult, thought at all. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Mm. And one of the things I also um, like to say is, don't be afraid to make mistakes. You know, I posted mm. something. Um, I think it was last week that some people. I started to sense, you know, and I just felt to post it that some people actually don't get into deep water because they're afraid of what it entails. They're like, ah, I'm not cut out for this deep water. Very true. And the time I get in, I'm like, hey, God, we must start making demands of my life. And now make demands on. I don't. Let me just Thank say. Thank you. you know, yeah. Let me just say. Let, yeah. Let's just I don't need to go to church. Yeah. I, I'm not a bad person. Yeah. I pray. I study my Bible. I do one chapter a day. So mm. it's just fun. You can pray for. You can go on. <laughs> yeah. You you really just touched on yeah. That thing where so, so, we're sometimes afraid. Yeah. 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 So of, of what it yeah. entails. It's okay to make a mistake. Oh, I thought it was God. 
and mm. then you will learn oh this is because god has a particular way that he communicates with us if you watch over time there's a particular way that he communicates with you that he speaks to you and when you practice his presence you will get there's no way you people ask you know people usually ask me how do you know it is god how do you know we can only give general things for example god mm. the holy spirit will not negate his word So everything the spirit of God is prompting so people will say something told me okay mm. these are three things that we can use to check is it in line with God's word because the spirit of God inspire people to write the scripture so he's not going to negate his word okay. number two is yeah. it in line with the law of love does it negate the mm. law of love you want to ask yourself so the holy ghost will not say leave your wife and go and marry another one <laughs> Mm. that comes that comes so it will it it will not negate mm. the law of law and you know mm. most times there's always peace attached to it there's always peace mm. sometimes it never leaves mm. us you know that nudging is just is just there that leading mm. is just there but there is peace mm. there's no fear about it there's no tense atmosphere about it you know mm. that times that it you know comes us to pray for someone but the general thing i'm saying number one it's in line with god's word number 2 it, it doesn't negate the law of love and the number 3 there's a peace that is attached that comes there's a peace that it's very true yeah the peace very that comes true. so there really no formula to as you practice hearing him you will hear him more but it's that yeah. for example and and it's the same thing as what you said last week conversations talk to him what do you think about this how, how can i and mm. when we start to talk to him about small things then we can truly hear his voice and he talks to us that's when he can talk to us about grand things yeah. that's when he can talk to us about things because when we can hear then in you know live family and all of that we can hear impositions mm. we can hear him for yes mm. we can yeah yes we yeah pastor john you know even if even... go ahead sorry I sense that you should pray for when you started to talk about um those who uh were not speaking in tongues yet I started to sense that there might be ju- there might just be people who are watching or some people on Mixer are listening or there might just be people who will listen later or watch this um later that might not just be speaking in other tongues you might just want to minister to them and we trust there's no distance in the realm of the spirit they can start speaking mm. in other tongues and then get into a flow with God mm. Okay but you want okay. to say something so We'll, we'll do that. Um, yeah. So I was going to say as well that you know I I I find that the Holy Spirit is particularly interested in that area of love. That area of love, you know, where um, we are able to keep a clear line between ourselves, you know, where there's peace in our relationships, where we're able to represent God adequately in our relationships, where um, there is no animosity and there's no strife. So let me share an experience. I told my husband I was going to say this and he laughed. So I think I have his permission to say it. I'm laughing already. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know it was, um, of course, it's been a very sort of tense season because I, um, mm. personally for me, I'm having to wear, I mean, work normally is intense. You know, then putting all of that in the same, in the same box with family, it's like, goodness lord how did this happen <laughs> you know so on a given day you're having to work and then still do um house and family and then from time to time you have to also do church you know so it's it's like a lot going on and um sometimes i think it was this morning interestingly you know there was uh, as usual i'm on a timeline i need to get this done this done this done before this time you know and i found out that somebody had done something and so i wasn't going to be able to meet up with that time and one event led to the other and you know i had this fallout with my husband like why now why is this me? you know and all that so i'm just like well everybody stay on their own just leave me for now I, you know i just went to my room our room he he was in the in the home office and then you know so i'm just like i just want to think you know and when after i sat down the holy spirit goes so what do you think you are doing <laughs> At that point you're like oh, oh. <laughs> oh god and I'm like what is your son to not talk to him is it really me you talk to this one? <laughs> you know and it's like okay so what's the issue what's the problem and then we start to analyze we start to break it down okay 
Now after a hearing, what are you, to you going to do? Spirit, yeah. Ah, just wow. two of us in the room. <laughs> just two of us in the room. And you think that I mean there's Insta Live happening this evening. And we are going to be talking about conversations very very always we give me like you know structural things. <laughs> it's like what exactly do you think you are doing, my daughter? I'm like, Lord no, it's not fair. Tell him to apologize. <laughs> You know, oh and and after and after we've said we've said everything, spoken, I've said my own, and he's like, okay, I've heard you, okay, I've heard you. Then he goes, so what do you want to do now? And I'm like, mm, you know, and then he says, go and say you're sorry. Ah, <sighs> you know, and this is where <laughs> this is where embracing his word comes in because you see that he doesn't negate his word. So I just yeah. obediently stood up. went downstairs and said i'm sorry you know and then we sort of things out interestingly he wasn't even upset in that sense that's my husband he wasn't actually upset like that you know but just taking that step helped me open up my heart for him to say whatever he needed to say it wouldn't have made sense for me to come and sit down here acting like you know somebody that is talking about the holy spirit and then there's now animosity in my heart right yeah. and i really do believe that the holy spirit is very strong about love because one mm. of god's nature is love is love he thrives so. where there's peace I mm hallelujah i sense strongly yeah. that there's someone you're dealing with issues in your own and uh, god wants you to start with that so pastor joy you didn't you didn't mm. say that because you wanted to say it as you started to mm. talk i i just sensed in my heart strongly that there's someone because everybody's at home everybody's at home now there's no <laughs> one can there's a lot of that actually going on in a lot of places i know i know said, i mean god pastor, the number you. of the number mm. of calls we've had to make in this wow. time I I don't think we've made that many in the last maybe 1 to 2 years. Wow. Wow. Yeah. But just mm. keeping that atmosphere of love will do love. amazing things. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And of course, it, it, there's a lot of that in first Corinthians 13. You're patient, you're kind. You, you sort of put the other person before yourself, you know. There's something my husband says. He says if two people are fighting, who says sorry first? And I'm like, ah, maybe the person that did the wrong thing. He said no, it's the person who said is correct first. <laughs> you know the person oh, <laughs> you know the person who said this correct first I'm so sorry <laughs> and now I've stayed with it <laughs> now I've stayed with me for years like if you're this correct what about saying I'm sorry <laughs> you know of course yeah. there are peculiar situations and circumstances yeah. you know and all yeah. that sometimes we need to speak with um, other people to help um mediate issues but really with an atmosphere of love god's peace permeates our homes mm-hmm. you know and he's able to do what he wants to do mm-hmm. yeah and there can be such flow between husband and wife that as you're saying something oh honey god told me this is like oh i saw this too god told me this too mm-hmm. and, and there's just mm-hmm. that ambiance and and you know when we create such atmospheres our children are learning Very our children true. are learning very and very you true. know and they to say actually what well, they yeah. they are able to say the whole mommy the holy spirit told me this not something told me because mm. they hear you say you talk yeah. about it they yeah. know the yeah. holy spirit as a person as yeah. well because daddy talks about the holy spirit mommy talks about the holy spirit yeah. you have family devotion someone has a word here yeah. the other person has a word the holy ghost is at home there no the holy he's ghost real. is at home there. he's real he's, real. he's yeah. not is yeah. not He's not something we talk about. He's a person. He's real. And they see things happen. They see when you said, you know, and maybe in the devotion that God is doing this in our family and God said this and that he said I have a word and then it happens in the mm-hmm. next 6 months. And they're like, what do you say to it? Yeah. That he said it. You know, they mm-hmm. see these things yeah. and they can tell that he's real and he is real. Mm-hmm. He is real. He's I go through my journals and I see things and I'm like There's no way I could have known this human. There's no way. There's no way there is a god. There is a god. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And no matter how mm. mundane those things sound, you know, let's write mm. them down, go over them again and talk with him. Absolutely. Mm. I always yeah. encourage almost everyone who talks to me, always go to bed with a journal. Because the spirit of God mm. is saying it. and you know what that what that does yeah, for you is yeah. it puts you in the position mm. where I'm open Lord I'm open 
In fact, it, it opens, it just opens up that channel mm. that you're open to learn, that you're ready mm. to learn, that you're ready to receive. Mm. When you're going to pray, go with a journal because you expect mm. him to speak. Prayer is not monologue. Yeah. Yeah. Prayer is not just yeah. dropping your head and walking out. Mm. And the only thing is, this, and sometimes the Holy Spirit talks to us through our tongues. As you pray in other tongues, you receive interpretation, you speak it. But I was saying to them, I think we have a prayer conference on Thursday. I said to them, I said, take time out to prophesy to yourself. You're the first prophet over your life. So sometimes as you pray in other tongues, don't write down the things that you're hearing. Say to yourself, thus said the Lord to you, Abimbola. So, 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 as you speak what you are empowering those words, because Hallelujah. God's words, just like Very you, true. as they go Very up, true. they will not come back to you, boy. Very so sometimes true. you write, oh, true. 17 seconds ago, I said, Joe, we're wow. here now, now we have to come back. <laughs> <laughs> because I didn't have to come back to so pray for those who want to be filled with the Holy Ghost, and then mm. we can wrap up. Right, I hope that's fine. Right. So everyone, we have four mm. seconds more, but we'll be back.